Greetings. Welcome to Pink Ellie's Poetry Corner. In this video, I will be reading two poems from my first collection, Cliché Poems and Other Strange Novelties. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as new videos are uploaded regularly. The Holy Communion. Let us turn now our gaze toward the Lamb that was slain to establish a peace between the living and dead. For all that have died to the flesh shall be wed through the church to the Savior who bought with great pain new life everlasting which some shall attain. Keep a solemn reminder as you take of this bread. If you suffer not for him, dangerous ground you shall tread. And he that thus eats takes the Lord's name in vain. So with inner eyes fixed on the Lamb sacrificed, his communion let's humbly accept as we ought, that we may partake of the sufferings of Christ, gaining spiritual knowledge of the truth he has taught. This bread is my body I've broken for thee, and oft as ye eat be reminded of me. In circuitous flowing of blood there is found the wellspring of life which we need to endure, and a pleasuring aroma when the Christ came to pour out his life to unshackle the world that was bound. Let us humbly admit of the Lord's own renown, which he purchased through death just as we're obliged for. Whoever drinks of this cup without knowing the Lord, through his suffering, walks vainly on God's holy ground. Even so should our lives bear the marks of his death, as he shed his own blood for the brethren's sake. Turn upon him in longing as you draw every breath. Let these words be your comfort when communion you take. This cup is my blood which I have poured out for thee. As oft as ye drink, be reminded of me. Jesus Saves We wander through this life unfree, as to the flesh we're slaves, until the piercing power of God grants glorious eyes that see. Jesus Saves On those he would this gift bestow, he raises high the waves, that toss them to and fro so drowning weary hearts may know. Jesus Saves all mortal strivings end in dust, all human lives in graves. The eternal spirit of the risen Lord attests to us. Jesus saves. His light alone probes deep within the soul's abysmal caves, to purify till we perceive enlightened unto sin. Jesus saves. This spirit opens heaven's gate, the narrow path he paves, while guiding those whom God has chose to draw into the state. Jesus saves. Not those whose righteousness they gain, themselves but fools and knaves, have hearts susceptible for tuning in the sweet refrain. Jesus saves. Redeeming knowledge one receives, the way that one behaves, lies in direct proportion to the measure one believes. Jesus saves. And they who know no sting of death possess a mind that craves to plumb the depths and scale the heights that fathom width and breadth. Jesus saves.